So what we have here is a laser machine. Within the laser machine, you have the heart of the laser, which is the actual laser box itself. And the way it works, I mean, many people, they get their machine, but they don't ever really look inside or understand how what they're using works. So this hopefully gives you some perspective. What ends up happening here is you've got your actual laser box connected by a fiber optic cable. Very, very sensitive. It's a very, very thin piece of glass inside this cable to the uh, control box here. And what ends up happening is, is that this here is mounted at the back of the laser. So we've broken the laser into parts. You've got the front part, which is where the operator is normally working and sees and is very familiar with. But then you have the back part, which is generally forgotten and only tended to at times when service is required. Essentially what ends up happening here is we mount this within the back and then we have the beam running through to the front compartment where all the action happens. And it runs through what we have here, which is a scanner. So this here is a scanner box. Within the scanner box, there are galvos. Galvos are essentially mirrors that are flickering and the laser beam is reflecting off of a mirror or reflecting off of another mirror and finally working its way to the lens, okay? Which then shoots it into the crystal. So what happens is the galvos flicker, the laser beam bounces and rebounds and gets to the position that we programmatically tell it to go to through the lens. It converges, exerts enough heat to burn a little crack or microfracture in the crystal. Now this machine is a simple machine. It's a machine that's been built to accommodate single loads. So one crystal at a time, the project's done, you do the next one. Great for tourist locations and venues that are not looking to kind of produce large batches overnight. So this machine and similar machines to this have been created so that tourist venues and venues that need to do on the spot can be accommodated with a system that doesn't really need that much space. Of course, we also take the same principles and then build on them to have tables that will allow you to put many crystals on them and work multi-mode as well. And we can service any needs. We can customize and tailor a solution for you. You know where to reach us. Give us a call to find out more. www.3dcrystal.com